So this is Kenny Santos out of Toronto, Canada for KennySantos.com. This is video number 60 for my 90 and 90 challenge. I am two thirds away through. Anyway, do you want to know whether you should be leading with your product or whether you should be leading with your business opportunity when you're growing your network marketing business? Because, you know, here's the thing is that there's a there's two schools of thought in here. You know what? If you lead with your business opportunity and they say no, um, you could always say, well, do you want to at least be a customer? However, if you lead with your product and they say no, it's kind of awkward if you say, well, you know what, do you want to sell the stuff? All right. And so, you know what, uh, the answer to that really is up to you. I mean, you know what, I say this is that if you are marketing and selling a product that needs a lot of education, then it might be difficult to lead with that product. You know, you, it might be better to lead with the opportunity. An example of that, let's say there's this new pill and it gives you more chromium. A lot of people, they don't know that they even need chromium. And so, you know what, you need more chromium. chromium. I got a pill that'll do it for you. It's tough to sell that, but maybe you can get them better on the, um, on the business presentation and educate them that way. Ultimately, I really think to me that if it's it's a product that people want, um, you know what, and people need, then ultimately I think it's easier to lead with the product because everyone buys product. Not everyone may not buy your product, but everyone buys product, if not every day, for sure every week. They go to the grocery store and buy something. And so, you know what? Leading with product can get really, really simple. Um, and once you get, you know, at a handful of, uh, you know, monthly customers, your business is in positive cash flow, all right? And then your story is a lot easier to grow. Your story can get really easy because someone says, oh, Kenny, you know what? Uh, if you're trying to pitch the business afterwards and say, well, how much money have you made? Say, you know what? I got 10 customers now. And you know what? I barely even started. I'm making an extra 100 bucks a month. This is going a lot better than I thought it would be. And it really helps you build that credibility. It's just a school of thought there. It's really up to you. And you know what, how your product is ultimately. And also, it could be up to your prospect, all right? And you might be able to feel them out. If they're looking for a new opportunity, then don't pitch them the product, right? If they're saying, you know what, I hate my job, do you know of any other ways of making money, then don't say, well, I got this new pill that, that uh, you know helps you with chromium, right? You know what, S tell them about the opportunity. But you know what, if their hot button is about health or something like that, and they actually say, I wish I had more chromium, for example, right? Then you want you to tell them about your product. So it goes really simply from there. So I trust you got some awesome value out of this. What I invite you to do is to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Also, you know what, if you really want to build momentum in your business, actually, I actually taught you a little bit because, you know, the first step and growing momentum is getting a solid, solid customer base. All right, and so if you want to learn how to do that, I'll leave a description, a link in the description of this video. It's a free audio that really teaches you how to build momentum in, you know what, within the next 48 hours of your business. All right, take care, create a great day.